There's no denying that AI tools are becoming more and more powerful on a daily basis. And while a lot of people question if they're going to take our jobs, what about those AI tools that can actually help us? It's often we're working on a project and we might have to wait a few days for the client to send across a voiceover. So we just have to use our rough voice or time it to the best of our ability in our head while we wait if the project really needs to get going. Here's where Eleven Labs comes in. Eleven Labs is a pretty natural sounding text to speech AI generator, and honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. You should definitely subscribe to Motion by Scott for more awesome videos. It really tries to replicate human inflections and intonation within its voices. It will probably improve over time, but at the minute, I don't think it's too bad. And it could be a great starting point to really get you going on a project if you don't want to wait around for a rough guide voice. How many times have you recorded something and the audio has turned out to be terrible? Maybe it's full of background noise or echo, and honestly, you're doing everything you can to try and save it by applying a bunch of filters, and it can get pretty time consuming. And maybe you just don't have the option to reshoot it. Well, there might be hope with this next tool. Adobe have introduced Adobe Podcast, an AI tool designed to help clean up your audio recordings. And honestly, it does a pretty good job. So this is the audio straight out of my phone. I'm going to run this through Adobe Podcast so that you can hear the difference. So this is the audio straight out of my phone. I'm going to run this through Adobe Podcast so that you can hear the difference. It's designed to enhance the clarity and quality of audio by removing unwanted noise and try and filter out the best speech it possibly can. If you struggle with deciding on colors or color palettes, this next tool is for you. Colormind is an AI-powered color palette generator that helps you come up with unique and visually interesting color palettes for your projects. It allows you to generate a new color palette from scratch, all lock and input your own colors and then work off those colors to create a new palette. Colormind just seems to take the headache out of generating color palettes and coming up with your own and it's really just a time saver. Now it could also be useful when you're working and restricted to a client's brand guidelines but you need to expand on that color set and sometimes that could be a hard thing to do. However if you just input their colors and lock them off then generated a complementary palette for it this could really save you some time. You may have heard of this next one but think of it as Adobe's version of Mid Journey. At the minute Adobe Firefly is just in its beta stage. However, this is definitely a tool you're going to want to keep your eye on, and let me explain why. At the minute, Adobe Firefly just features text-to-image and creating text-to-text -text effects based on its own Adobe Stock library. Now, this is great for coming up with mood boards, style frames, or even concept art to build out an idea. However, what they're planning to add is pretty huge. Things like text to vector, text to Photoshop brush, or what they're calling in painting, which basically allows you to add or remove things from an image or generate a new fill from a text prompt. They even plan to include turning 3D elements into full images and even coloring a whole sketch for you. Now, it could be quite concerning for some people about how this might affect and impact their work. However, I think we need to think of these tools as another selection in our arsenal that we can use and build upon and take inspiration from rather than something to completely replace what we can offer. I've definitely saved one of the best and most interesting AI tools that I've seen for last. We all know character rigging and animation can be an absolute nightmare, especially in 3D. Well, let me introduce you to Cascader. From what I understand, Cascader seems to be more of an AI intuitive software to help you rather than completely replace you. More of like an AI assistant, which is something I'm definitely more on board with and a great use of AI. Cascada helps take IK rigging a step further by moving points on your rig to mimic the movement that you're making. For instance, the limbs automatically moving position when you're animating a point on the body. This makes for more natural looking movements without having to manually keyframe those positions yourself. It also hosts a bunch of other tools to help add more natural physics, secondary motion, and of course, ways to tweak your curves and animation. You're then able to export this animation as an FBX file to work with a host of other 3D softwares, meaning you're not just limited to using Cascader. Now, if you're new to motion design or want to brush up on some skills, you can find some great free resources by watching this video here.